guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is MC and I'm here with Felix today and we're making videos for international students who want to study, settle, and explore their opportunities here in Canada. So if you're new to my channel, make sure that you hit that red button below and don't forget to ring the notification bell so you don't forget any videos that I upload every single week. And if you're not part of the SLE Mentorship Group, make sure that you check my description box because we post a lot of free resources there and also we offer a free letter of acceptance from the uh, school partners okay so and any updates I always post it there so make sure that you join that and we'll see you there and a quick announcement for my SME members who send their request for, uh, for the letter of acceptance please I would appreciate if you can allow me to respond to your request like maybe 48 or 72 hours because i'm receiving a lot uh this past few days and yeah please don't get upset <laughs> right <laughs> yeah. yeah i will respond to your email just give me some time but now let's move on to our topic for today So in today's video, we're going to talk about some of the most common questions that we always get from the students. How would you get the program? How would you choose your school? And how would you um, meet your goal here in Canada, right? So we're going to um, give you the baby steps on how would you get to that, uh, your dream job or your happy uh, life here in Canada, right? Before I came here to Canada, I have that roadmap uh, a year ahead and I have that in my Excel sheet and pretty much I followed everything. Every month I have the, uh, you know, how much roughly my uh, expenses, how much roughly would I make while I'm studying. I have that roadmap um, from studying here to Canada until we, I get my permanent residency. So I feel like it's really helpful for me and by uh, that being said i want you guys to to do the, the same yeah so um before you make any choices on on where to study and what to study ask yourself what's your main goal where do you see yourself in in five to ten years mm -hmm. and mainly what field do you want to work in where do you want to live and based on that you choose your program and also, do you want to immigrate or not? All, mm -hmm. That's also a factor of um, where you might want to study. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah. So also like considering that you're going to spend 20 to 30 grand for the whole program, roughly, make sure that you're making the smart decision, right? You don't want to regret that at the end of the day. So studying here in Canada is a big investment. And you also spend uh, two to three years of your life. So that's another yeah. point, yeah. Mm -hmm. So we're going to give you the baby steps on how to uh, get there. So mm -hmm. the first one would be do your job market research. Figure out what type of job or what type of field you wanted to do here in Canada. Mm -hmm. So. Um, apart from, uh, we'll post in the description below um, a few links um, of some good um, job research sites mm -hmm. uh, for Canada. Um, I found this really cool website today. It's on the Job Bank of Canada and mm -hmm. they have a tool where you can um, put in your occupation and the area you want to work in and then it'll tell you what jobs are available there, but it'll also tell you what the job mainly is about. Mm -hmm. They have a trend analysis and um, where they're projecting where the job market is going to be in the future mm -hmm. and um, a lot of just cool features. Um, mm -hmm. So you should really check that out. Yeah. yeah, and also based on my experience when I was doing my, you know, my research, when I was doing my, like, the roadmap, I always check the unemployment rate. Uh, for example, I was um, torn between uh, New Brunswick and Nova Scotia during that time. So for me to make that decision, I was looking at the, uh, the, uh, the analysis and on the CIC website. They have everything on the CIC website. You just have to dig in. And most people are not aware about it, uh, including you. You're, you were not aware that they have this kind of, you know, like 
uh, research uh, stuff in on the website, which mm-hmm. is really helpful to make to help you decide. The next uh, big step would be choosing the program. Okay, so your end goal, let's say, is to become uh, a plumber or a nurse. Let's say. So what would be the programs would that would help you to get that certain uh, job, right? Mm-hmm. So yeah, the the um, the program that you choose is just a tool to um, get to the job that you want to work in in the future, right? So um, you should choose wisely, and um, if it's not exactly what you're going to work in, at least it should be something that will help you at the, you're just interested in learning and um, we do not recommend to just study something just mm-hmm. because it has a very low fee and um, it doesn't require IELTS. Yeah, right? our goal here in our channel is for you to come here to Canada and be happy and like have a, yeah, be happy with your job not just to immigrate right? yeah we understand that studying is expensive and that it's and it is very important how much the tuition fee is and um, most people don't come from very rich places and they they it's a very important point for them also for us and um, it was also a reason why we went to NSCC because it's pretty affordable mm-hmm. but you should always keep in mind that you should study something that helps you because you are paying a lot of money for it. So yeah. it might as well be something that benefits you. Which will lead us to our next uh, baby step. What That would be choosing your school. Mm-hmm. So that will be based on your cost. Again, how much will be your budget? Mm-hmm. And is the program available exactly. in that school? Mm-hmm. And then where the location is, okay, right? Mm-hmm. Is it in, do you want to live in, do you want to study in the countryside? Do you want to study in the city? Mm-hmm. There are some people that would prefer, prefer to study in the city because they have transportation. They don't want to buy a car. Yeah, or the, just personal preferences. Do you like to be with a lot of people? Do you like to be yeah. out in nature? You yeah. know, everybody's different. Yes. Yeah. So also, like, based on your job market research, is there any uh, part-time jobs available in that certain area. Right? Yeah, what are the part-time jobs available? You can also find those in in those links that we're posting below as specifically for unskilled student jobs. Mm-hmm. Uh, Kijiji is a very good website, yeah. um, but also the other ones that are below. Yeah. yeah, but I think for me, if you're only looking for like uh, odd jobs or general jobs, you can always find jobs anywhere in Canada, right? Yeah, mostly there's always some some sort of job that yeah. you can do. Because yeah. I always get that question from the student, oh, will I get a job there? Okay, you have to be specific. Are you looking for full-time job or part-time? Part-time, you can always get it anywhere in Canada. Full-time depends on the job, again, the job market. Look at the job market, okay? Mm-hmm. And then also, yeah, I'll mention the IELTS. Don't base your school choice on the IELTS. Okay, you're only looking for your for no IELTS schools. Mm-hmm. It's fine, that's fine. But then if the no IELTS school will not have the program that you like, mm-hmm. I would say look for another school, right? Yeah, it's it's nice if uh, you don't have to take it. We totally we totally understand that. We felt the same ourselves, but sometimes you just have to what do you say? Bite, bite into the sour apple, <laughs> it's a German saying. <laughs> but, yeah, but then... And just take it, um, if you want to immigrate later, you have to take an IELTS or yeah. something similar anyways. There, You don't have a choice, you mm-hmm. have to take that test. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And if you want to study at college or even university, your English should be good, otherwise you will not be able to... Um, get your diploma or your degree like you have to be able to speak English yeah I was like that before I'm all yeah. like I'm afraid to take the IELTS like but then now I realize if this will lead me to the job my dream job I will take the risk of taking the IELTS and then also right now they have Duolingo which is really easy 
Yeah, a lot of schools accept this online Duolingo yeah. test, right? Yeah, yeah, but temporarily. Temporarily. But again, yeah, take advantage of that because yeah. Duolingo is easy and cheap, and yeah, do it, and then get that program. Also, you have to check the cost of living on that uh, area where you're going to study. Exactly. Um, you can yeah. go to Toronto, you can find lots of well-paying jobs, but keep in mind living in Toronto is also expensive. Yeah, so yeah. let's say you're going to live in, uh, if you're going to study at Selkirk College, then you know it's like not a city it's a countryside but then um you're there are some perks because you're not gonna uh, spend so much money with your uh, your cost of living and then yeah you'll find some job part-time jobs and then afterwards like full-time jobs you can always move to another town or to another city yeah once once you're on your post graduation work permit you're free to work anywhere you want in the country and do any job that you like there's mm -hmm. no uh, restrictions there yeah and also one more important thing that we have to, to say mm -hmm. you choose a school that is a designated learning institution that offers a post graduation work permit yeah right? well it's not the school that offers the permit it's just requirements that the school has to meet to be eligible for a post graduation work permit. Yeah, sometimes it's not the school, it's the program. There's some private school that has a program that offers PGWP. Yeah, but the school will not mention post graduation work permit. That's a government program. Yeah. And we also have the link in the description below with the requirements. So before you pick your program, um, read those requirements, make sure that it meets those requirements and then you can go ahead but most programs most public schools that are designated learning institutions and mm -hmm. when the program is uh, eight months or longer i think it is like you're good you get at least like the one year but yeah just make sure that uh, it works most private school doesn't have the pjwp the post graduation work permit so you have to be aware of that of that so make sure that you check the designated learning institution uh, link that we have in the description box. Make sure, and also like all the schools that I always mention, they're all designated learning institution and they have PGWP. I don't mm -hmm. promote any school that doesn't have a PGWP. Mm -hmm. The next baby step would be the PR, the permanent residency. Would you want to settle here? Is that part of your goal? Because there are some students, they just wanted to start. They just wanted to study here, but they want to go back to their country. There mm -hmm. are some students like that. But mm -hmm. there are some students that wanted to go here to study, and they wanted to immigrate. Okay, so check your provincial nomination program in that certain province where you studied, and then check the provincial nominee program for the certain um, field that you're going to work in, and also like. Check the pointing system. They have the federal uh, immigration uh, pathways, let's say Canadian Experience Class or the federal skilled worker uh, stream. It's a, uh, it's a pointing system. Again, when you're doing this baby steps, it's like assessing yourself. Do you really need to study mm -hmm. just to immigrate? Because maybe you don't have to study. Yeah, maybe you already have enough points. Yeah. yeah. If your goal is to immigrate, maybe check the um, CRS tool that we have in the description box. We That's a comprehensive ranking system here in Canada. Maybe you don't really have to study. Mm -hmm. Okay, check that first before you decide to, to come here to Canada. Because some students that I always get, they have master's degree. And maybe you don't really have to study, right? Mm -hmm. So. Uh, there are a lot of uh, immigration pathways here for international students. They have like specific stream, not just for international students. Like for example, in uh, Atlantic, they have uh, AIPP International Graduate Stream. For um, here in BC, they have uh, BCPNP International Graduate Stream. They also have like people with master's degree. Like there is a lot of streams, and we can't like list every single stream here in our channel but then it's for you to do that it's for you to uh, do your due diligence you have to research 
like the bottom line of this is you have to prioritize your 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 goal is it what's your goal do you want to prioritize your pr or is it your goal to just live here in BC and be with your relatives? You know, that's like some of the goals that you have to consider, right? Mm -hmm. Prioritize it and and see which one do you want to accomplish first. Mm -hmm. Do you want to like stay in Nova Scotia first and be away from your relatives because you want to prioritize your permanent residency? Mm -hmm. Or maybe the job that you wanted to do is in Atlantic? Or do you want to stay here in BC or in Alberta where you want to work in an oil and gas and be away from, from friends or relatives? Mm -hmm. Map out your goal and have the baby steps mm -hmm. to go from point A to point B. Mm -hmm. It's hard. I know it's hard to, uh, to figure out your life. For you, it was hard. <laughs> Yeah, right. most people never figure out their life, let's be honest, right? Yeah. <laughs> but um, you need some sort of outline and I just think it's a big investment and it's uh, also time-wise and money-wise and you shouldn't waste it. Um, you should sort of, uh, sh it should benefit you in some way at least. Yeah, so I hope you guys like this video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up and comment down below if you have any questions and we'll see you to the next video. Bye. Bye.